She's one of those good souls to whom it comes easy to give, mm -hmm. but hasn't ever learned how to comfortably receive. I find that always to be a very unique quality about the human being. Right. Because, you know, on one level, we are selfish, I mean, yeah. on, to a certain extent, uh -huh. but yet there is this deep level, and sometimes from the strangest people and circumstances, that it's so much better for them to give, and it's so hard to, to receive. receive. Not yeah. only a gift, but I mean receive a compliment, yeah. receive love, Absolutely. receive all of those things that are important for us as humans to receive. There's a, there's a whole circle of reasons why if somebody is uh, a very evolved p person on one extreme and wants to help the whole human race become evolved. I mean, I believe that we're all here to serve. We get caught up in our own thing, but we're here to serve. And the universe gives each of us talents. And I think it takes a long time sometimes for the soul in the body to get together and make a living with those talents. But you're here to serve, and so if they're very evolved, that's why they're giving so much. Hard to receive, maybe they don't feel they're worthy, maybe they're too busy, like a Mother Teresa going at it. On the other hand, maybe they're just insecure, or maybe they are cowardly. Or maybe they're so selfish that they want it to be great, not just good. So you can go like a, like, a, like a symphony or harmony on the piano as to reasons why. That's what I love about writing, and that's what I love about acting, too. I spin my characters in a whole circle to find that thing that's like the character.